This episode of the Answer is Yes Baja Sessions is brought to you by Baja Bound Insurance Services. Driving to Mexico? You can buy and print out your Mexican auto insurance policy online in minutes with their easy-to-use website. They also have great travel information to help you plan your trip south of the border. Visit BajaBound.com. Hello, this is Ryan Thomas, and you're listening to the Baja Sessions. Over the last three decades, I've lived, worked, and played from the top to the tip of the majestic peninsula of Baja, California. And because of this, I've met some incredibly interesting people with equally interesting stories. And today on the Baja Sessions, we're going to chat with one of them. Hey, this is Michael Emery, and I am delighted to be here today in Ensenada, Mexico, with Amador Arteaga. Amador is the director of Pro Turismo and is responsible for all things tourism in Ensenada. So sit back and enjoy the ride with my guest, Amador Arteaga. Well, Michael, thank you for the for coming to visit us. Pro Turismo is the office to receive all kind of people like you are interested in know what happened in our city. Uh, Ensenada now is a is part of Baja, very interesting. We are a boom right now. Ensenada has a very big history. We have uh, um, races uh, like um, in Newport Beach uh, in, to Ensenada. The sailboat race. The sailboat race. The sailboat uh, race. Very but, famous. But it's a race. Yeah, very know? famous. 73 years is going to complete wow. this April. 73 yeah, years. It's amazing. It's the oldest event we have in, in Ensenada, and it's the oldest event in our country, like that kind. We have Nora 53 years ago, Score uh, 53 years ago, too. We have uh, a lot of things now in Ensenada. People come. You know, American people from California, Arizona, uh, they love Baja. And when, when you, do you say love Baja, Ensenada uh, has, in Baja California, we have five cities. It's uh, Mexicali, Tecate, Tijuana, Rosarito, and Ensenada. It's five cities. But Ensenada, our territory has the 70% of our territory, of our, our, our state. That's why when people love Baja, loves more Ensenada than the other cities. And what percent of the population do you have? Um, half a million. Half a million? Yes. And for Baja total is how many? No, no, no. Baja total is like a 7 million people. 7 million. Uh-huh. And, and so Ensenada is half a million. Half a million only, yes. And the territory of Ensenada the same, or is it... No, uh, the territory uh, of Ensenada, the city, the municipio from Ensenada has uh, 52,000 uh, millions of kilometers. Wow. It's a big, a big uh, municipio. That's why ha uh, we, we have the 70% of the territory in our state. It's a big city. It's a big territory. Okay. Well, I think the, the interesting thing um, from someone who's been traveling to, to Ensenada and to Baja for over 30 years now is just what's happened here lately. As you said, it's a boom. It's a boom with the wineries. It's a boom with the craft beer. It's a boom with the uh, food. The food. Yes. It's really, really amazing. So it's still, um, it seems to me it's still growing, yeah? Still growing. 20, 20 years ago, this industrial winery started 30 years ago. But now, Ensenada is the capital of the wine in Mexico. Yes. We have seven valles. Valle de Guadalupe is the, the number one of our Ensenada around. We have seven valles, and all of them produce uh, a wine. And our, our, our wine is wonderful. That's why a lot of people come now to Ensenada to drink uh, our taste, our wine, our craft beer, and our food is wonderful too. And so you have, much like the Alta California, you have beautiful growing weather. 
Yes. The weather here is fantastic. The air comes in from the ocean and keeps it cool, so you can grow beautiful fruit and produce and olives and tomatoes. That's, that's and right. then you have the sea, where you have the beautiful seafood. So it's really a, a, a location that's uh, very unique in the world. Yes. No, and, and it's, it's something I, I would like to tell you and your your people see your program, Michael. Is a, a, a lot of a lot of a, Ensenada is a destination for weekends. That is Fridays and Saturdays comes a lot of people every week. Uh, the fifty-two uh, weekends of the of the of the year, but we have more to offer, more than a weekend. That's why it's very important uh, to tell the your your the people who. Who 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 see your your problem to, your 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 program right yes, now? Our listeners, yes. Aha, uh -huh, yes. Uh, you have to plan to come to Ensenada, just not for a weekend. We have you you can stay here a week, and we have something to do every day of the week. That's that's why it's it's very important to talk with you. And I think your uh, your hotel rates are very very good during the week. That's it's very right. very easy to stay here during the week and find a hotel room. Yes, look, in, in your question is good to, to, to tell you something about our, our hotels. We have a, a traditional hotels in Ensenada, La Rosa, El Cid, Bahia, eh, Estero Beach, eh, Santa Isabel, eh, Hotel Cortés. But now, a couple of years ago, we have four new hotels in Ensenada, and they come with a good uh, prices too. Uh, 500 rooms, we have more in Ensenada. It's Hotel Lucerna, a couple of two, two hotels from City, City Express, and one Holiday Inn. That's why now is we have a different offer of, 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 of rooms, and we have a lot of a lot of things to do in Ensenada, and the rates is good for everybody. Yeah, the rates are, the rates are very good, and it's very easy. I drove down from Los Angeles, and it's very easy to cross the border, You know, you don't need a map. You just follow the signs and, you know, uh, you're here in Ensenada very soon. And the tacos are very good and the people are friendly. You ask for directions and it's very easy to navigate. You can leave your car and take a taxi and someone will show you around the city. It's very, it's very easy. Um, But tell look, me, Michael, you say something very good. I, I like if, if coming from you is very good because a lot of people has the perception is going to, it's very difficult to cross the border. They is so long the time probably because it's a lot of people come or a lot of people go to to United States, but I think it's very good when you say it's no problem to come to to Baja. No, it really isn't. Uh, it's funny you say that because um, I pulled over in San Diego. I drove down from Los Angeles and I was expecting lots of traffic because I came in the morning, but. The traffic was going the opposite direction. Uh -huh. So I arrived in San Diego and I uh, stopped to buy a coffee and use some um, internet and have a, a little break. And right on my phone, I bought two days worth of uh, Baja Bound uh, car insurance yeah. very, very quickly. Five yes. minutes, I had the car insurance. Uh -huh. And then I looked at my phone and I thought, okay, well, it's the same old route. It's very easy. Nothing's That's changed. Right. Yes. And uh, I... I drove across the border, green light, came through, made a right, made a right, and then I drive. you drive out and make a left, and you follow the road to Ensenada, and you're here. Welcome. <laughs> and it was very easy. The only problem was uh, it was Wednesday, and I stopped in Rosarito for Tacos Al Yaki, and they were closed. <laughs> oh, my God. So it was terrible. That's terrible. But they we have a lot of tacos here in you Ensenada. Do. So I came— you say tacos— Yeah. What do you like? Fish tacos? Beef tacos? So uh, my, favorite, my favorite is alobada or al pastor. Ah, so that's what I like. Look, a couple of months or three months ago in my country has the adobada tacos is the number one platillo in our country. It's wonderful. That's why I love your country. Tacos. That's why I love your country. <laughs> so and I know that al pastor and adobado is uh, – there are there are differences. Sí. But uh, – I enjoy them both, and I enjoy carne asada, and I enjoy uh, guisada, I enjoy uh, berria, I enjoy uh, cabeza, and fish, shrimp. Okay, I'm, I'm ready for tacos Every anytime. kind of tacos. Hey, Michael, but I have a question. Uh, you like the Mexican salsa? I do. Oh, yes. that's good. Yes. yes. Mexican salsa is a very good taste with any kind of tacos, no? And, I, and the thing that I think is interesting, as simple as a taco is, 
I think that the presentation is getting better and better and that's better. Right. And you have the the uh, gastronomia. Is that what you say? Gastronomia. That's gastronomia, right. Gastronomia. But yes. you have these very simple ingredients. That's right. Presented very thoughtfully and very beautifully now. So from the street to the high cuisine. Yes. You know, it's a beautiful place to eat. Everywhere. Everywhere is very is very good. Any flavor in the street or in a good cuisine. We have in Valle de Guadalupe a very good restaurant there. Here in the city, we have a very good restaurant. Ensenada start, uh, I think, is ready to to grow up a little bit. We, I think so. We we have to do some things to be better. I, it's under, uh, we have to understand, but we are ready. Uh, last year, we received uh, 3.5 million uh, visitors in Ensenada. Wow. Yes, a lot of, a lot wow. of. By cruise lines, with cruise yes. ships, we have almost... 300 arrives in the in the year. Wow. Uh, what day what day do the cruise ships come in? Are those during the week only or uh, No, no, no. We have like a five arrives and and the week. Wow. It's, uh, t- uh, it's martes, miércoles, from Wednesday, uh, yep. Thursday, Friday yep. and Saturdays. Wow. And sometimes Sundays. Uh-huh. Yeah, we have a lot of from California. Uh, cruise Carnival is one of the he, that line uh, makes 200 arrives a year wow. with two cruise line, two, two ships twice a week. And that's very interesting. Eh? Very good for your economy. For everybody. A lot of people get off the ship and want to have something to eat. And and something have, to uh, eat and something to do. And something to do. Yeah, the experience, we have to work more in that to be a very experience, the, the old visitors. But we have a lot of things to do in Ensenada. Eh? Ensenada, we are waiting to, to more visitors every, every day. So tell me a little bit about your your own personal story, your own life. How did you come to this job, and how did you? Are you from Ensenada? Did you did you grow up here? No, I born in Jalisco. Oh, in Jalisco. When we make the tequila, that's my favorite place. Uh, the capital of tequila in the world, in Jalisco. But I come. I'm 52 years old, and I come 47 years ago to Ensenada. I, Ensenada is my second home. Uh, I come to work in some uh, stores uh, in the Calle Primera when mm-hmm. you buy souvenirs. Yes. I'm a lawyer, but um, I always like to sell something. And now in this job, I like to sell in Senada, you know. That's why I'm here. I have 10 years in, in Pro Turismo, but now uh, from, from director, I, I, I be like Nico Sad, president of Pro Turismo. And we work for a lot of things happens in the city, in this office. In, in, but now, Pro Turismo may, makes the, me, for me the opportunity to help a lot of people, to support a lot of people, and to do a lot of things uh, to bring more people to Ensenada. And when that people comes to Ensenada, uh, we have to be good amphitriones, you know. Yes, I, I think that um, that you've been very good to me to make a little time to talk about your city. I was hoping to talk to my my old friend Nico. He's uh, he's busy, but I didn't get to chan- the chance to talk to him. Or maybe he's staying out of the way so that I can t- to talk to the jefe here. Oh yeah, why not? Maybe he's being yeah. polite. Yeah, Nico. But uh, he has some stories that I want to pull out of him while he can still. still Nico tell has me. a thousand of stories. Yes, yeah. he does. He was very kind when I was here. Uh, a couple of years ago for my 50th birthday and we went to his house and he showed me the kite and he showed oh, yeah. me the, the view and we had a very nice time uh, with Nico for the day and I'd like to record those stories that he told me then. So uh, I'm looking for smaller things, smaller stories, smaller ideas, smaller places that don't have the advertising budget that I can direct uh, my listeners to. So when you're, when you're out and about, now you have a big job and you're promoting tourism here to Ensenada, but when you're out and about, where do you like to go? Where do you go to hear music? Where do you go for a drink? If you're taking a friend, not on business, but you're taking a friend, where do you go? Something you have to go, if you live in Ensenada or not live in Ensenada, you have to visit the Cantina Husong. <laughs> I always visit Husongs. I, I love it. I, I, you I already, love it. Uh, yeah, yes, it's I love something it there. amazing, you know? It really is. Yeah, it's founded in 1992. Long time ago, and it's a very traditional cantina. Every day of the week, 
it's something some 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 day I I when I go out of this office I I stop a little bit in Husson Cantina or if you come to Ensenada I invite you to to visit Husson Cantina. Uh, now the craft beer we have a lot of good selection of craft beer. Uh,